Today on Food Finders, we're heading back to Sengkang to uncover non-hawker food spots that might just surprise you. We have an interesting lineup of food with some unique and fresh spots and also a familiar name. Welcome to today's episode of Food Finders. We are in Sengkang and we have Gary with us today. What's our theme today? Not hawker food. Gary has been complaining. He only does the hawker and the coffee shops. I gotta say, it's not that I'm against hawker food. It's just, yeah. you know, I, I see the other people, you know, going to like bougie places. And I'm like, it would be nice to try something different. Uh, let's go to our first spot. Collins at the Sengkang Grand Mall. They actually have a dry chiller. So I was like, oh damn, that is one up from the competitor that we cannot see on camera. <laughs> so let's oh. check it out. Shot tomate. Oh, there's a game. Oh, there's oh. a game. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Hey, Gary's my butler. All right, Gary, would you pull on my chair for me? Yes, yes. Ah. Sir? <laughs> yes. So, fun to be Colin himself from Collins is actually inside cooking. I think he's gonna come out and talk to us a little bit. Hello. Oh, Hello. Hello. Colin, Hi. Gary, nice okay, to meet you. The, the two new introduction in our menu will be the modernized comfort food. We are grow up with a lot of our curry puff, like local chili crabs. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. They want a twist in the comfort food, and we modernize it in our Collins menu. We turn the chili crab sauce into pizza. Is this dry aged for the tomato? This is a dry aged okay. tomato. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. put it in a charcoal oven. We can smell the char, char, that char smoky. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Please enjoy the food. Hey, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you so much, Colin. Gary, my kind butler. Please. What would you like, sir? Kind I'll sir? Pizza. Let's sir. try one of this. Did you cut it in, in half? Yes, sir. Right away, <laughs> sir. Perfect. Uh, thank you. What a bitch. I like to point out the massive lumps of crab in here. You can taste the crab mm. meat itself. Full size lump. Yep. Crab meat. And the everyone, sauce is pretty legit. Tastes like chili crab to me. When you talked about new comfort food, it's like. I think the taste familiar. With a twist, right? Yeah, twist with a twist. It. It was like in a new way. Familiar flavor. No mince curry. I am surprised. Like if you didn't tell me this was plant-based, mm. I'd actually think it was meat. It's a curry puff vibe, but in a pizza format. Yeah, and then it's like bits of mince, but it's not mince. But it's not mince. In general, it's like a very unique dish. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that he said they actually use a charcoal grill. Particular type of charcoal, right? Yeah, he said binchotan. So what's binchotan? You know what? Honestly, I'm not super sure. I just know it's like pretty premium. Got that smokiness, well cooked. I'm a big salt fan and I like different types of salt. I'm pretty sure this is the Maldan salt because you uh -huh. can actually see. It's this a very square particular salt. square salt. If he's done it right, which it seems like he has, is you don't actually cook steak with black pepper on it. You'll actually burn the pepper, yep. which will actually make the steak taste not as nice. So right. you can only finish with black pepper. But I like Let's move on to the fish. Baramundi. Oh, thank you. I don't know where he oh. sauces this. That fish is very good. I'm gonna try with the harissa sauce. Apparently this goes well with fish. But then that barramundi is pretty good. That barramundi is actually surprisingly tasty. Huh? I think the skin is cooked perfectly uh, well. Perfect. It's got that crispiness. It's not yeah. burnt. It's got like that salty taste. And then the meat is just yeah. clean. I think they nailed it on the fish. Amazing job, Colin. Between the fish and the steak, what would you recommend? I would have already expected the steak to be good. But this would be the surprise. Unexpectedly good. I still like the steak. I really like the char. There's so much freaking effort mm. in this damn piece of meat. There is a promo on the pizzas from August to September. You can get it at $17. So come down and give them a try. So we have to move off to the next spot. So we are now at Apricus, which is actually opened by the Populous Cafe. We're gonna chatting. do round two. Oh. Excuse me, we're still on. One, One, two, three. three. One, One, two, three. three. Go! Yeah! My first order is I shall now be called Emperor. <laughs> Did I get the door for you, Emperor? That's a 
is our French toast, so which we took from Populous, and then we work together with Nico Nico from Malaysia. It's a gem mine, gem mine soft serve, so uh, roasted rice. Uh, oh. It's very malty. We've got some maple granola all around, a raspberry oh. and a salted caramel. A Wait, oh, this is a cauliflower. Steak. Steak. Yeah. cauliflower I thought it was steak. bread, man. I like the plate. It looks like deep fried kale, mustard seeds yeah. on top. Pickled mustard seeds. Uh, we've got hummus at the bottom, chickpea hummus. <laughs> All, All right. made in-house, comfy cherry tomatoes, roasted cauliflower, yeah. a little bit of free kake for the umami. Alright, let's yeah. try this first. Oh, wow. I like that. Really prominent. It's very, very roasted. Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a very Asian thing to say, but it's not too sweet. <laughs> a bit of like tang to it, the, the sourness from the berry sauce. The bread is not too um, dense. Mm. It's actually pretty light. Together with the kauli, we have our potato stack. It's made by stacking the layers of potatoes. The flavouring for this is a bit like a hot and spicy chips. When we first started, we could only make seven portions in one day. They spent about an hour uh, yeah. just to make seven portions. So Good. you have to bake it, you have to stack yeah, it, yeah. and then you have to press it. Press it. And then you have to yeah. chill it, and then and you then have to cut it. it, and then you have to freeze it again just to oh, make it set. Wow, yeah. that's Enjoy. complicated. Emperor Gary would like me to yes, please. serve you some cauliflower. Yes. I would like a piece with a little bit of everything on it. It's quite exciting because I've never seen this in real life before and I've always been curious about Oh, flavor-wise, I thought it would be a lot plainer because it's cauliflower, but something hits, man. I think this is a really good combination of textures. The fried kale adds that crunchiness. It's got that bitterness to it with a little bit of the grainy seed mustard. I think the cauliflower is just like meaty. I'm actually surprised at it. I, I wasn't thinking that I would like it, but it's decent. Can you cut this in half? What and I would you? like to be fed. Of course. Emperor Kuei gets fed. Mmm. It does taste like a chip. I'm gonna have a whole piece. I like it. This is the bomb. Now I am become deaf. I think skills wise, like I know this from uh, just the amount of preparation it makes takes mm -hmm. to, to make one of this is it's it's just very time consuming. So although it's just just potato, just potato, it is potato, a man. lot of work for potato. A lot of work. And he mentioned how uh, the flavor profile is kind of like chip, but the texture is just like melt in your mouth. Brown butter linguine, Italian nippon with a hint of Japanese. If you could, do the little twirl oh. as a single bite piece with a little piece of the salad. A little twirl. Oh. 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 Alright. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, damn, the umami kit is just pretty interesting. It's got that hint of sweet. It's delicious. Okay. And I think as a combined dish, it's rich, it's sweet, savory. It's got the pickled vegetables or the Granny Smith apple type yep. of that kind of cuts it. And the salmon's just cooked perfectly, actually. So very good. I can see why this is a, an easy choice for a lot of people here. Typical, like, creamy pasta. So it's not as, like, plain cream, heavy cream, whatever. Like, this, this has so many layers to the cream itself. I feel like this place has, I wouldn't say fine dining, Vibe, but it's pushing. This is beyond the typical cafe food. In every single one of these dishes, they, they try to make it yeah. flavorful, salty, they're uh -huh. playing with texture, plating wise, you know, the garnishes, all these type of yep. small little details. I think it makes it a very enjoyable experience. So we're gonna move off to the third place in our Singkang Tan. All right, here at the next location, Tender Best Machik Tuck Shop. We are right beside a park, Singkang Riverside, Riverside park? park. Very scenic views. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Free parking, no service charge, no reservation. No reservation. So first right. come, first serve situation here. One, two, three. Yes! And Gary's back to being my slave. I shall be now henceforth known as Master Commander Seth. Commander! Commander! Yes, sir, Master Commander Seth. Let's go in. Coffee's too hot. Um, oh, would you like to uh, try first, uh, Master Commander? I, I would like so, uh, the uh, big bratty. Cream spinach, cream mushroom. Everything you would kind of expect of a breakfast platter. Well, I, I think the cream um, spinach and cream mushroom is a bit different, and of uh, course, this is all halal. So I think this is a uh, chicken sausage and yep. beef. Bacon. I think it's turkey. I think it's turkey. I mean, you want a variety of stuff, go for the big brekkie. You can only get it in the morning, 8.30 to 10.30 or on the weekends. Let's try the half and half pizza. 
very cheesy. Those really thin. Well, I would assume nothing less from a four cheese pizza. The, the pizza is like very luxurious because like they do pack on the cheese. It's not like you know a sprinkle uh -huh. of the cheese. Yeah, it feels like there's more cheese than bread. Lots yeah. of stuffing, like extra stuffing. But also, I think it's not bad. It's a bit tangy, right? I think it's from the olive, giving a bit of a tang. I would like one strip of onion. It's good. Why I mean, onions like it's more of the preparation. Okay. I believe they have like a tool that you could just. That tool, like it's yeah, it's just like a tool. You just okay. crunch it down and it opens. Steam boning, specifically drumlet. Okay, no, no, mid midway, midway. It has to be like one piece, one. Ah, all right. Deboned mid wing. And see how boned it is. Deboned it is. How is it? Deboned. You don't, you can't go wrong with the wings, I guess. It's very flavorful. I like it. Yeah, it's lovely. Quite a lot of seasoning on it. I think this is like what they're most known for, right? I think the it's atmosphere good. is like very nice. Food is reasonably priced. Yep. And there's uh, a coffee promo. 50% off, off coffee at a certain time. I think if you come here on the right day or time, we were mm -hmm. told that there's like parrots and stuff that you can see. Sometimes otters. Parrot um, interest group hangs around here. And you can play someone else's bird. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Safari Show here at the uh, Food Finder Seth Lee. Macaws lived for 70, 80 years. I did not know that. Wow. We're here at the last place, uh, Jerry's Barbecue and Grill. Very classical looking stuff. Very retro. One, two, two three. three. Yeah! What happened? You got a reputation for losing rock, paper, scissors. To Not you. to you. We got three dishes over here. The Memphis barbecue ribs. Looks extra saucy with some uh, potato salad. We got one of their signatures. Fried, fried mushrooms. mushrooms. And uh, buffalo wings. They have a range of spiciness level. We got yep. level two because Seth is a little I agree. I must come on, Seth would like to try the ribs, please. Debone a slab of a rib. Oh, that's really smooth. That is. The whole place is a super classic American diner vibe. You have the uh, smoked the ribs. The bone ribs. Very, very moist. It's so hard to get like a moist um, barbecue rib. Because yeah, sometimes it can be quite dry, so. Yeah. They got the moistness, right? Oh, the sauce is not bad too. Like a barbecue sauce. Very saucy though. I know in professional barbecue though, they actually don't like the meat to fall off the bone. It should yeah. stick to the bone, but be soft. I think it's like Texas style. Is it Texas style? Yeah. Oh, internet, let us know, man. Are we correct on this? It's really juicy. It's very moist. It's a deep fried mushroom. Yeah, but it didn't like over fry it. Like I thought it was pretty decent. Mushroom is fresh. Yeah, I give them that. Could add a little bit of uh, salt onto the mushroom, but you get a lot of that flavor from I like it. the, the I like mushroom. Am I gonna use my hands or is Gary gonna debo my chicken for me? Yes, sir. Drumlets are harder, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pasta. <laughs> Okay, my next command. Gary's not allowed to use his fork and knife. Uh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Without your hands. Without my hands. It's a uh, random. Okay, Maui spicy. Saucy. Actually, that's level two. Oh. It's not spicy, but it's got, it's, got a, it's got some nice kick to it. I like it. The sauce okay. is very, um, yep. it's got like thickness to it. I think that's how you would get it in American diners. Very retro, classic kind of place. You know who I'd bring here? Your parents or your grandma. This would be like nostalgic for them. I think the chicken wings are pretty good. They feel like classic diner food. I would find this place like chicken rice comfort food is to Singaporeans. Like this type of food is comfort food for Americans. This is for Jerry's. Let's wrap up the episode. Are we done with this? We're done with this, right? Still <laughs> So what is your favorite? Gotta where? give it to Collins, actually. The food was um, impressive. Like, I like the okay. fact that the produce was like just really top fresh, top. really top-notch, simple. Okay, okay. I pick apricots. Really elevated in the middle of nowhere. It's a, it's a nice ambiance. I felt like every dish that they had, they put a lot of thought into it as yep. well. And that's it for this episode. Next episode is gonna be our season finale. We're gonna try and do something a bit different. Please Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment as well. Bye. Bye. Gary. Yeah. My straw needs opening. Close up. Put it in the cup. Put it to my mouth. Oh, thank you, sir. Mm.